Welcome to the Perinatal University single topic presentation entitled Augmentation and Induction of Labor. Current risks of elective induction include iatrogenic prematurity and operative delivery. Researchers have identified a 16% increase in the U.S. late preterm population over the last decade. Infants born between 34 and 36 and 6 sevenths weeks make up over 70% of all births nationwide. A direct correlation exists between the rise in elective obstetrical procedures and the influx of late preterm infants. I wanted to kind of explain this in a basic fashion so that we all can understand uh, really exactly how their uterine muscle works. As we can see with the COGS, one of the three, or I should say the three most important things that have to happen, and we can't always see this uh, on the outside of the uterus, but oxytocin receptors, voltage, and again also calcium channels have to be developed during the course of gestation for the organ to work. Our best recommendations call for a lower initial loading dose and an extended titration rate of every 40 to 60 minutes. Dosing parameters are at the discretion of the primary practitioner and should follow physiologic and pharmacokinetic principles as outlined here.